warning. If if you don't like Trump Trump goals, then then just leave now. Just just save yourself the pain because I've just run through like all the editing, put it all together, and I was like, oh. Right, I've scored a lot of sweaty goals in this episode, and it is unbelievable how many there are as well. Like, I, I didn't think I scored that many, but yeah, for some reason, I have scored a lot of sweaty goals in this episode. So I do apologise straight away, but yeah. Alright guys, and welcome to episode 10, I think, of this Euro 2012 expedition, not FIFA predicts. I don't know why I said that last time, and um, yeah, thanks for pointing that out, Shivan Mittimbers. And yeah, we'll start off against a game against, uh, with the game against Bosnia and Herzegovina, and as you can see, two very 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 similar um, fouls by I think it's Popic or something like that has got himself two yellow cards and a red card in the space of 11 minutes so yeah thanks for that you gave us a bit of a hand there and in the 34th minute we get the first goal of the episode and the first tramp goal of the episode it's Timu Pukki he puts his 1-0 up against Bosnia I was feeling quite good I was like okay yeah we're doing well and then we picked up a penalty in the 45th minute I was thinking right okay if I can put this away then we're 2-0 up they're a man down surely the game is ours so I stepped up Swifty with the penalty chipped it as low as I possibly could and yeah went into the back of the net so we went into half time 2-0 up and a man up and yeah I thought the game was ours but I was wrong because we didn't even go into half time 2-0 up we went into half time 2-1 up because Dzokic which is Dzeko as you if you didn't know Bosnia do not have the correct place but yeah he put them 2-1 um, behind and then they came back with Milio Jani I'm not really sure who he is and he somehow managed to fire them back onto the level terms in the 50th minute with a goal and I was like are you kidding me and then in the 90th minute they broke through on goal again but this time they fired it wide and the game did finish 2-2 two to two after a very very scary end um, there by because I stupidly passed it out to him and yeah, I've said that completely wrong because yeah, it did finish 2-2. I had the chance in the last minute. But anyway, um, that finished 2-2 and then at the end of extra time, it also finished 2-2. So yeah, we went into penalty shootouts but not before showing you the match packs because look at that, 17 shots, 9 of them on target in Oh, we just can't seem to score at them. And I mean, same for Bosnia, really. I mean, they had eight shots on target, so I can't really say anything. But yeah, we stepped up with the final penalty of the game. And yeah, you you guys know what's going to happen. I'm going to smash it into the back of the net. And we are going to beat Bosnia, and that is exactly what happened. Because I have not lost a penalty shootout yet on Expedition. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I haven't lost a penalty shootout yet. So yeah, we'll move very quickly on to the game against Luxembourg. And I've realised another thing that I've done is... It, here comes the second tramp goal. Um, is that I've... For some reason it's like an eight minute long video or something like that and there's six games in it which is crazy it's the most i've ever done so yeah um i've seemed to i seem to put all the all the clips together really really quickly and i'm not really sure why that happened but yeah hopefully it'll, it'll create a good episode it'll create a very fast flowing episode i seem to be talking a lot faster than what i usually would but yeah two nil up against luxembourg the game seemed to be ours and they had a chance in the 57th minute but they couldn't really capitalize and then we broke up the field Three minutes later, and yeah, we hit the post with an almost another tramp goal. We've got two tramp goals at the minute in this episode, and then they broke through on goal. And they did manage to put it away. Grimlock, he, he made it 2-1. And Luxembourg, after the 5-5 uh, crazy game that we had last time, I was nice to just get a simple 2-1 victory. And that is Luxembourg now complete. So yeah, we are making decent progress, and we are going places. But unfortunately, the player just wasn't good enough from... Um, from Luxembourg and the the reserve the not the reserve the substitute player from Bosnia wasn't good enough either so yeah I've not really shown that um, but yeah as you can see milestone reached and now we move on to a game against Albania and we started off really well in the 19th minute Tanase gave it to Puki Puki found a little bit of space found the gap and found the back of the net as well which is always a plus point so yeah 20 minutes in we were one nil up and then I don't know if you can call that a sweat is that a sweat I mean let's say two and a half so yeah we scored two and a half sweat goals now we went two nil up in in the 36th minute I fired it into the back of the net and then we almost almost made it three in the second half where we got a bit of a lucky bounce and we hit the post and then in the 83rd minute we again hit the post that could have been three or four nil but it wasn't and then they did break through on goal and inevitably scored a goal I mean I seem to be really poor at keep, keeping clean sheets but yeah and um, Sava got a goal in the 88th minute but fortunately, it was nothing less than a consolation. And it did finish Albania 1 propane game in HD2. So, yeah, like I said, really good progress being made. We have won yet another game, and we seem to be on a real good roll at the moment. I know I lose, I lose too many games at times, and this is, main, this is the main reason. Look at that one shot on target for them, one goal. Seven shots on target for us two goals we need to sort this out so yeah i did pick up chani as center back but he only he's only really gone into my um 
into my reserves, into my substitutes, just to improve them. Uh, so it's not really made a big big difference. So we'll move on to the game against Romania. And yeah, I mean, we started off uh, pretty averagely, pretty poorly to say the least. Because as you can see here, they fired a shot and we just, we, the defence just seemed to be nowhere but everywhere. And uh, Cyprian and Marcia put them 1-0 up. And then in the second half, they sweated it out with a nice back heel to Andre Mergu. And they went 2-0 up, so I was like, come on, man, we are not losing. I wanted to go an episode without losing. And, yeah, we put up a really big fight. As you can see here, Swifty broke through on goal. There was only one option I was ever going to take, and that was to sweat it out to Pookie. And he fired it into the back of the net, and we were back in the game. So that's now three and a half sweats. And then we were in on goal again, and I decided not to sweat it out this time. And maybe I should have, because I fired it past the post. And the game finished Romania 2, Propane Game in HD 1. So I was like, okay. We lost. But you know the most annoying thing about it is here are the match stats. Well, not really match stats. I forgot to get them. Um, look at that. Look, look at that. Sh 12 shots on target, man. And we could only get one in. This has been a massive problem of mine throughout the whole entire episode. So, yeah. Really frustrating. But we're going to have to deal with it. Man up. Grow some bollocks. And that is exactly what we did. And we'll go into the game now against Bosnia and Herzegovina, who we have just played. But I felt like playing them again to beat them. And yeah, we started off really well in the 20th minute. Pookie there, firing the ball into the top corner, and we were 1-0 up. And then I nicked it off the defender's feet, ran in on goal. And no, you are wrong. I did not sweat it out. Of course, I'm kidding. I did, of course. That is all I'm ever going to do. And uh, is that four and a half, five and a half, something like that? I don't know. Your, your guys should, will probably keep uh, kept count for me. So, yeah, um, that game ended really quickly because that was basically all that we had. I mean, again, we had shots on target, but they were just straight at the keep and not really anything to show. Or else I dragged this episode out to about 20 minutes. And yet, yeah, like I said, 11 shots on target, two goals. It's just not good enough. We need to be converting more chances when we come up against big teams like France and things like that. So, yeah, anyway, Bosnia and Herzegovina are now complete. And you're probably losing a lot of track of this, but I will update you at the end of the episode. I'll show you the map of this group because I'm staying in the same group. If you've not realised, this is all. I think it's Group E. And I picked up Milio Johnny Nin who did score against me in the first game that I played against them. And now I move back onto Romania. So I've gone Bosnia and Herzegovina, Romania, back to Bosnia and now back to Romania. And we started off a bit shakily, giving the ball away in defence in the second half. And they almost, almost scored. They really should have taken um, more better care with that. And then we broke through on goal. And no, we did not sweat it out. I was like, I was so proud of myself. I was like, right, I'm running through on goal. I can put this onto my stronger foot. And I will score, and that is exactly what I did. So I did the classic Phil Brown celebration, and yeah, told all my team off for sweating it out, you bad boys. But yeah, anyway, they broke through on goal and almost equalised in the 85th minute. They didn't, though, and that sealed the victory for us, which meant we have now completed Romania, and this is going incredibly well. I didn't think I'd, I didn't think I'd complete this many teams in one episode, but I think that's now the third team that I've done. So yeah, completely different this time. They had more shots, than, more shots on goal than us, and okay, the on target was equal but we managed to take one of our two on target and it was really good so yeah Romania at your feet that is brilliant we are coming close to completing group E and we also picked up Mattel who was a right back finally got a right back or a left back because I have not got any of those so yeah here's the mosaic I don't know if it actually comes out to look like anything that would be pretty interesting pretty interesting if it is but we've now collected 30 out of 180 mosaic pieces so yeah hopefully we can do that complete that before fifa 13 comes out that's probably the aim because obviously it's going to take ages to win 150 more games i've got to win so yeah that's pretty incredible but yeah, oh no, it's Group E, um, Group D, not Group E, I said that wrong. But look at that, we've not played France as of yet, but we've basically got four more games to win in this group, and then we've completed it. So yeah, I will look at completing Belarus and Albania very, very soon in one of the upcoming episodes, and then I might even look at taking on France. So yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, what, can we get... Can we get 20 likes? I'll start off with that. So, yeah, can we get 20 likes on this video? And I've not done that before. I, I, I disagree with people doing it, but I'm going to try it. I want to see, I want to challenge you guys. See if you can, you know, interact with me and see if you can beat my challenges. So, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave that like to reach 20. You can, surely you can reach 20, guys. And, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'm just repeating myself over and over again. So, yeah, I'm going to say see you later, guys, and peace out. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the next episode. I don't know, whatever. See you later, guys. Peace out.